Today I'm going to be talking about how colored e-ink displays function. But first, my name is C. Smith, this is TQA Weekly. The reason why I'm talking about this is somebody was looking for the answer to colored e-ink displays on my black and white e-ink episode, which you can go and look up at tqaweekly.com slash se8ep03. And we can recap it, but this time I have pictures for you to see. So first picture, and this will help you. The charge particles are basically the width or less than the width of your hair. The black particles are positively charged and the white particles are negatively charged. So depending on their state, you'll be able to have a picture that is, or at least the pixel that is completely black, completely white, or somewhere in between, which is gonna be a little bit important. We also have to keep in mind that the back of e-ink displays also reflect light because they don't always have a backlight on. If you have a Kindle, you already know this. You can turn the backlight on, but in the daytime, you don't actually have to. And because of the many of the properties of an e-ink display, they even work really well in the sun. So that is how it technically works. Now, color e-ink displays function a little bit more differently. So basically you have this grid right here, right here. So, and what ends up happening is each of these particular sections that have color are filters. They are color filter arrays and they work on the basis of red, green, and blue. So mixing various colors will produce other colors. So if you only wanted red, you'd show only red. If you wanted green, you'd only show green. If you wanted to show blue, you would only show blue. And if you wanted to show colors like yellow, you would mix red and green. Yes, I know it's counterintuitive, but if they're basically almost on the same wavelength, we will interpret it as yellow. And many of the other colors are basically built in this fashion. In order to get different levels of red, greens, and blues, and also the mixtures themselves, we need the color ink themselves to actually have some level of gradient. You get thousands of colors, not millions of colors out of this process. And of course, you also get to show black and white inside of the picture. So it's not really a difficult process. It's the black e-ink display and color filter arrays over it that allow for this to actually function. So for those who are looking for that very specific response on how that actually works, that is actually the answer you were probably looking for. So if you want to see the two pages that I showed up on the screen, you go to tqaweekly.com slash se8ep49. You will have the links to that, my short explanation on that. And of course, you'll have the download links for this show at this point. If you like this episode, like it, dislike it if you didn't, share with those you think can benefit from this, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, comments, suggestions for topics, email me at ask at tqaweekly.com or go to my website, tqaweekly.com for everything else. And if you want to make this show better, go to patreon.com slash tqaweekly and become a patron today. Patrons get these episodes 24 to 48 hours in advance of everyone else. Thank you for watching and goodbye.